You better get your Dragon Ball Super Figure Arts at Big Bad Toy Store quick because uh, they're selling out. Links in the description. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hey there everybody, it's Steven here and I'm back with another Dragon Ball Super Figure Arts review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the pride and joy of Universe 11 and it's going to be Jiren. So this release is a little bit of a hot button issue because of a somewhat kind of sort of not really quality control issue. But we have another Dragon Ball Super Figure Arts and it's Jiren. It's a fan favorite and folks want to know if this is worth picking up. Now do note this was a P Bandai release so one production run and done but believe Bluefin did bring this over for the US market. BBTS is going to have it. Check out the description. And I did, overall, I think Bandai did a pretty rock solid job on this release. And the price point, a little less than about 60 bucks at MSRP, I do believe. Uh, yeah, I, I think overall this is worth it. So let's take a look to see whether or not Jiren is worth adding into your collection. The short answer is yes. The long answer is mm, it's a bit complicated. So if you're worried about how Jiren looks, realistically speaking, there's no issue here. There were a lot of folks who said that Jiren looked a little bit too glossy in the early pictures that we saw from collectors, but in hand, he doesn't look that way at all. I do think that there's a little bit of gloss there, but not so much that it's like he's super shiny or Mr. Clinging levels of shininess. I think it's just right for somebody who's maybe wearing a spandex sort of like a super suit, but the rest of the figure, like for the gloves and for the head, it's fine. It's perfectly matte. There are no issues here. And when we take a closer look at the figure, when we take a look at the head sculpts for the decals for the eyes and the different paint applications that are used, aside from maybe a couple of small issues with masking here and there, even on the alternate head sculpts, um, he looks fine. So where people are saying there may be a couple of issues with the paint, I don't see it. And then when we take a look at the crossed arm parts coming up, I'm getting ahead of myself talking about the accessories. The masking there looks great as well. And then there's another accessory which they matched perfectly with Goku. So... Um, I'm trying really hard to extend this section. Um, Jiren looks good. I have nothing bad to say here. There may be variances for quality control between different units, but yeah, Jiren looks good. Oh boy, articulation time for Jiren. Um, hmm. So I, I just got to say that um, in regards to how they engineered him, he's great. I mean, he's everything that could be asked for. Uh, however, as I'm going to touch base on in the accessory section, he's got a couple of flaws, um, but oh, wow, he's great. Yeah. So his head plugs into his neck on a ball joint and then the neck plugs into the body on a ball joint. So he can look up about that far, look down about that far. And obviously his range from bobbing side to side is just fine. Um, he has a double ball jointed uh, neck joint, so he gets plenty of range of movement in his head. The arms are the biggest issue of this guy. So he has not necessarily a butterfly hinge for his shoulders. He's got essentially a ball joint system. So this way we can get a lot of weird poses out of his shoulders. <laughs> so it kind of looks weird. Um, whoa. Yeah, but it's cool. It's functional. It allows for a lot of unique poses depending on how you work things. Now, let, let's listen for a second. I'm going to pull Jiren off screen, but this is the only way I can do it. Now back where he was normally. Yeah, very tight shoulders. This one was tight as well, but I have a video showing the dish soap trick, and I intentionally only did it on this one and not this one, so this way I could show you, or at least let you listen to, what that tight joint was uh, sounding like. So if you have that issue as well, little squeak, I'm going to break it. Yeah, so he has ball jointed shoulders, and if you need that, by the way, card popping up if you're watching this on YouTube, and then we do have hinges, so this way you can raise and lower the arms. We have a dedicated bicep swivel, and this is an issue for Jiren. I'll highlight this in the uh, accessory section, but essentially the way that his bicep is um, made is big potential for breakage because that little peg gets stuck in his arm. Why are people breaking it? Well, there's an accessory for that. So anyway, continuing with articulation, we have double hinged elbows, which provide great range of movement. And then standard figure art style wrist joints. Mm, not quite. We actually have a barbell style wrist joint here. Uh, so double access ball joint. So we get some awkward movement if you don't push the hand in all the way on the wrist. 
So make sure you're doing that. Because if you don't, then the hand's going to pop off. But if you do, then movement's just fine. We have insane range of movement on the ab crunch for everything but forward. For forward, we're going to get just this little bit of a bend back, great, and to the sides, fantastic. But for moving forward, that is fixed with a little bit of a waist joint there, which is a ball joint. So don't worry. You're going to be able to get Jiren to move forward just fine. But basically, he's going to be moving back more than he is going to be moving forward. Uh, standard renewal style hip joints for figure arts. So that's very good, except for he has a fantastically sculpted booty as I showed you before so that's about as far as he can move his legs back in standard position but if you move out to the side you can sort of do that doesn't look the best but it is what it is and then since he doesn't have any sort of sculpt floating around in here moving out to the side for the splits is great as I showed you he has thigh swivels no issues there double hinge knees we have fantastic ankle joints here, which is going to be nothing too fancy. Uh, just going to have the standard figure art style there with a peg into the leg, a peg into the foot, a hinge, and then we get the swivel movement, and then we get a toe hinge. Do keep in mind that Jiren's feet are actually made of a softer plastic, almost like rubber, so you get a little bit more to work with there if uh, he's giving you some trouble, so you get a little bit more of a bend. So overall, Jiren is pretty dang good. You can get him in a lot of fun poses, but there are some issues with the bicep joint, which again, I'll show you why people are having that issue in a little bit, and mine has some tight shoulder joints, which I almost had a breakage on mine, so keep that in mind but otherwise he's engineered fantabulously very good all right the accessories section and this is kind of what i've been hyping up so jiren comes with some alternate hand parts he comes with three different head sculpts aside from the default he's going to come with an effect part with an extra hand to go with it he's going to come with a hand to grab goku by the head and then the infamous crossed arm parts which we will be talking about last so let's go ahead and take a look at the alternate head parts where it's going to come with a gritting teeth head sculpt he's going to come with a yelling head sculpt and then the red eyes head sculpt Ooh, jaren's getting mad cool all three of them look just fine no issues here now for the alternate hand parts jaren is going to come with left and right chopping hand parts it looks like he's going to come with left and right splayed hands or key blast hands and then he's going to come with one left hand part that's sort of a relaxed splayed hand which looks pretty good he's going to come with a right hand part that is a translucent orange almost as if he's getting powered up and then he's going to have a flame punch effect part i don't remember specifically what this might be called and this is not because i'm like not a fan or i haven't seen it i legitimately don't remember what this is um if anyone can help me out comment down below please but yep yeah. This looks great, and this just slips over any of the fists that Jiren is going to come with, whether it's going to be that alternate translucent orange or just his base fist. Cool. So he's also going to come with one right hand part to make it look like he's grabbing onto Goku's head. And this is probably why Jiren's shoulder joints were relatively tight. So the blue that's used for Goku's Super Saiyan blue head sculpt, it actually matches one to one, which is, uh, that's impressive. Bandai didn't quite get the different Super Saiyan blues for the renewals anyway. Perfect between Goku, Vegeta, and Gogeta. They're slightly different. Yes, they are. But here, Perfect. So good job there. And yes, if you wanted to, Jiren can hold Goku up with no support other than just himself. Now for the alternate arm parts, the crossed arm parts, and this is where there's an issue some folks have been having that I referenced in my articulation section. And I showed you where the issue is. So there's a peg in the default arms that plugs into a hole in the bicep or rather in the shoulder part. And the issue is that that peg is getting caught in that hole when you go to pop the arm out to put in the new crossed arm parts. The issue here is that once that gets stuck because people are pulling too hard, they're twisting, they're turning, that peg gets pulled off and then the arm is no longer usable and the peg gets stuck in the hole. So when you're doing the crossed arm switching like I'm showing you here, be gentle with pulling. Don't twist and pull and yank. Be very gentle. Hold Jiren's shoulder at the base. Hold the bicep at the base where it connects to the shoulder and gently tug and you should be able to pop it out no problem. I've swapped out arm parts and just pulled off the arm parts plenty of times, no issues. But if you're having issues, if you're not confident, use heat, use the dish soap method that I have. You should be just fine there. If you have any issues, you bought this from 
Big Bad Toy Store, you should be able to just be able to get either a refund, a return, they should be able to work you with customer service, and if that doesn't work, there's a Bluefin sticker on your box, Bluefin should be able to help you out. Now, this being said, Jiren comes with a nice amount of accessories, and I don't know realistically what else he would be able to come with. But if you need a couple of more things, you do know that I have videos for stands, for effect parts, and other stuff you can check out on my channel. Now, we'll go ahead and move on over to a size comparison where you can see just how big Jiren is, and uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. He scales well with pretty much everything else you're going to have up on the shelf. So that's a good thing. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Some folks have been having issues with that bicep swapping out and Jiren effectively breaking, and that has been a big detriment to people buying this figure. It's been scaring people away. I can say as long as you take necessary precautions, you shouldn't have any issues. That being said, if you were to remove that, Jiren is one awesome figure. Um running for the figure of the year not quite but uh i'm glad i got this guy yeah oh do take note this figure wasn't made in china it was made in vietnam that might be why he's so cheap well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you. So if you want to watch another STR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch. So definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.